so white people knew there was no way they could come onto the high plains with the Native American running wild. And so Colonel McKenzie, who was stationed in San Angelo at the fort that was located there at the time, was sent on an expedition to round up those Native Americans and get them back on the reservation. And they found those Indians getting ready for winter in Paladura Canyon. The Native Americans had left their horses at the top of the canyon. And Mackenzie and his men crawled up to the edge of the canyon in many places until they spotted where they were camped. The next thing they had to do is to find out just exactly how the Native Americans made their way down into the canyon. And after a bit of time of searching, they discovered that pathway. So they lay in wait, and at the proper time, they inched their ways down the canyon, and they attacked. All of their tents burned all of their supplies that they had put in storage to get them through the winter, and the Indians were defeated. So the year is... 1876 now, and the first white man to come upon to the plains to take advantage of the high grass, the fertile soil that produced that high grass, is going to be a man by the name of Colonel Charles Goodnight. Now, Goodnight was not a colonel in the Civil War. Colonel Goodnight was a colonel for the Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers. They come onto the high plains in the spring. 1,500 head of cattle. And when they finally spot what you and I call Paladura Canyon, they have to now do exactly what Mackenzie had done a few years earlier, and that was to find the trail to make their way down into the canyon. When they arrive in the canyon, are they ever in for a shock? Colonel Goodnight says in one of his interviews from back in the old 20s, 1920s, that when they arrived, they found, hang on to your hat for this number, 10,000 head of buffalo. Buffalo that were totally missed by the buffalo hunters. Buffalo that had been born and raised in the bottom of that canyon. And those buffalo were going to get the grass and the water, and his 1,500 head of cattle were not. So he had cowboys line up in a circle on that north end of the canyon. And they raised their guns in the air, and they galloped south down the canyon, firing those guns and stampeding the buffalo south. Colonel Goodnight says that the ground shook from the hooves. The dust filled the air. And out of the sides of the canyon came every kind of animal. Deer, fox, coyotes, wild turkey, and this one may be hard to believe, but it is true, bear. And they drove them south about 15 or 20 miles. I would say down in the area of Cedar Canyon, if you've ever been down that 